Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how to add a chart control to an ASP.NET web project, bind it to a data source, customize the chart's main elements, and change its appearance and interaction settings. We'll start with a new web application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET application template. To add a chart control, find the Web Chart Control under the DX Data and Analytics tab of the toolbox, then drop it onto the form. Next, let's add a data source. For this, click the Web Chart Control Smart tag to invoke its actions list. Then open the drop down list for the Choose Data Source type and click the New Data Source link. The Data Source Configuration Wizard will appear. Choose the SQL database type and click OK. On the Choose Your Data Connection window, click the New Connection button. Specify Local for the server name. Next, click the Select or Enter a Database Name combo box and select In Wind. Click Next to switch to the next wizard page. Let's save the connection information to the web.config file. On the Configure the Select Statement page, Choose Product Name, Category ID, Units in Stock, and Units on Order fields from the database and click Next. On the wizard's last page, you can test the database connection by clicking Test Query. And finally, to complete the data source creation, click Finish. Now the SQL Data Source 1 object is assigned to the web chart control. Next, let's run the chart wizard, which helps you to customize the chart. From the Web Chart Control Smart tag, click the Run Wizard link. Let's change the default series names. To do this, switch to the series page. Specify the first series name as Units in Stock and the second series name as Units on Order. Next, switch to the Data page and select the Series Binding tab. For the first series, set the Argument combo box to Product Name and the value combo box to units in stock. And for the second series, set the argument combo box to product name and the value combo box to units on order. Now let's limit the number of data points in each series. Choose the first series and click the Data Filters Ellipsis button in the Data Wizard page. In the Data Filter Collection Editor, click Add and then set DataFilter.ColumnName to Category ID and DataFilter.Value to 4. Leave the DataFilter.Condition property set to its default value, which is equal, and click the Close button. Then repeat these same actions for the second series. Finally, click Finish to close the wizard. All right, let's look at a preview of the chart at design time. Click the Populate link in the Smart Tags Actions list. This will redraw the chart with the bound data. Next, make the chart size bigger so we can see all the data properly. And let's run the application to see our chart. As you can see, we now have a stunning chart bound to our database, and it even provides data from the mouse over event. Great, let's go back to Visual Studio and customize our chart a little bit more. First, change the chart type by changing the series view type. I'll click the Run Wizard link from the Web Chart Control Smart tag. Switch to the Series page and change the series view type to Area for the Units in Stock series. Next, we'll customize the legend position on a diagram. Switch to the Legend page and set the Direction combo box to left to right. In the Alignment group, set Vertical Alignment to Bottom Outside and Horizontal Alignment to Center. Next, click Finish to close the wizard. You can also customize the chart appearance and behavior by changing its properties. Let's switch to the Properties pane. The Appearance category is used to determine the overall look and feel of a chart. The Behavior category allows you to control the chart's interaction tools like tooltips and the crosshair cursor. You can also change common chart behavior. And with the Elements category, you can add or delete chart elements, for example, diagram, series, annotation, or legend, plus modify their properties. 
Let's change the chart's default appearance. To do this, set the appearance name property to pastel kit. Now change the crosshair cursor behavior to have it show the crosshair cursor's value line. To do this, locate crosshair options and set the show value line property to true. Let's run the application again. You can see the crosshair cursor with value lines that provides the convenient way to compare series. Next, let's see how to change a view type for multiple series. Start by going back to Visual Studio. Run the wizard again from the smart tag. In the chart type page, select radar and polar series from the drop down list. Next, click radar line and the chart type has been changed automatically. Now let's add a title to our chart. Switch to the chart titles page. Click the add button on the right pane and I'll set the text to products in the text tab. You can see this title on the left pane of this wizard page. Finally, close the chart wizard by clicking the finish button. Now let's run our application one more time. As you can see, we have a stunning radar chart with tooltips that appear each time the mouse cursor hovers over a series point. And because the radar series doesn't support the crosshair cursor, our chart has automatically displayed the tooltips instead. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.